What's going on guys, G Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to your daily dose of transfer content. And today is going to be Wednesday the 15th of July. We have confirmed deals to go through as well as the rumours. So just before we get started, if you could do our good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. Yes, this episode will be down below in the description box and the current schedule every day at 8 a.m. UK time there will be a new video in your sub box. And as always, drop a comment below and I'll get around to answering as many as I can. So first up, we have got a transfer which hasn't been fully announced just yet, but because something did happen and activate kind of a clause, it does mean it will go through. So Suzo will complete a permanent 21 million euro move to Sevilla, that is from AC Milan. Sky Italia are reporting this, but again, it will be confirmed very soon. The Spanish club signed the 26-year-old winger on an 18-month loan deal, and it also had an option to buy in January, which it didn't take up. But on top of that, there was an obligation to buy purchase clause. That's if Sevilla reached and qualified for the Champions League. And this was confirmed after their win over Mallorca on Sunday. So as of right now, it's not official, but I expect it will be very soon, if not already. Turkish giants Galatasaray and Trabzonspor will go head-to-head. -head. That's to sign Leicester midfielder Mendy. It's according to a Turkish outlet called Assist Anelis. Uh, they're saying that Galatasaray could enlist the help of their former striker Bafatimbi Gomis, who is a cousin of Mendy. The 28-year-old is out of contract with the Foxes at the end of the season, uh, so he will be a free transfer. So from one player leaving Leicester, now we have a potential new signing. So according to Estadio Deportivo, they're saying William Carvalho is very much nearing a move to Leicester this summer. They claim the Portugal international is set to join the Premier League side for a fee in the region of 25 million euros or about 23 million pounds and that is from his current side Real Betis. Arsenal have retained their interest in Roma star Justin Cliver and this is according to Corre dello Sport. The Gunners have been heavily linked with a Dutch international in the past and they may look to make a move when the next window reopens. And this was like a, a bit of a story that came out when Henrik Mkhitaryan made the switch to Roma and there were reports saying that Arsenal may ask for Cliver in return. But apparently they didn't, but they might be pursuing the move now. Calcio Mercato are reporting that Edinson Cavani has turned down the chance to move to MLS side into Miami. Instead, the former PSG and Napoli hitman, who is now a free agent after leaving PSG, he has been courted by Roma instead. It does seem that Atletico Madrid, who were the favourites to sign him in the winter window, they've completely dropped their interest now. And I think it was Chelsea who was linked to before, but of course, they have signed Timo Werner. Paris Saint-Germain have identified Atalanta right-back Timothy Castagna as, as a potential replacement for Thomas Munier. The source is going to be Le Ten Sport and they say that PSG are eager to bring in Castagna and Atalanta are likely to consider offloading the 24-year-old. That's because he only has one year left on his current deal so they risk losing him on a free in 2021. And as for Thomas Munier, I've mentioned it before and uh, you're probably fully aware now, uh, but he moved to Borussia Dortmund on a free deal. The next story is from Kicker in Germany. They're saying Leonardo Balerdi is closing in on a move to Marseille. That's as Borussia Dortmund are ready to let him leave. The 21-year-old centre-back made just seven Bundesliga appearances this season and the sporting director Mikael Zork, he's already confirmed that he will be allowed to leave. Marseille are expected to sign him on a loan deal, but it does include an option to buy. AC Milan are in talks to sign Nahul Bustos from Argentina's side to Lares. This story comes from Calcio Mercato. The Rossoneri had a meeting with a 22-year-old forward last week, and they could activate the 15 million release clause in his contract. However, they may face competition for his signing, because Roma have also been monitoring his situation for some time now. West Ham star Declan Rice is once again a top target for Manchester United and this story is from Football Insider. The Red Devils have been heavily linked with the England international in the past and apparently Sir Alex Ferguson is now said to be urging them to make a move. He has also been linked to Chelsea to potentially play a centre-back so he has also got some versatility. Atletico Madrid are interested in signing Emiliano Buendia from Norwich. 
They are among a clutch of clubs in La Liga keen to take him back to Spain along with Valencia. And he actually said in an interview with Sky Sports a couple days ago after Norwich were relegated that I have a contract here and I hope the club, the team and the fans, I hope they get back to the Premier League as soon as possible. And it's one of those things for Norwich that now they're relegated and it's all confirmed, a lot of their players will be linked to a move away. And Buendia, because he's one of their better players, he could get a good move out of it. Napoli midfielder Allen is set to leave the Stadio San Paolo this summer. And again, the source is going to be Calcio Mercato. The Italian outfit are willing to listen to offers in the region of 25 million euros for the Brazilian, and that's when the transfer window reopens. Paris Saint-Germain are interested in Allen, who has started 20 games for Napoli this season. And he's been linked to a lot of different teams over the last 18 months or so, but it looks like he may finally move away. The Telegraph are saying Manchester City could refresh their squad with as many as five new signings this summer. The players linked are Kaladu Koulibaly, he's a number one target with Ruben Diaz, Pau Torres, Nathan Aki, Sionchu, Skriniar and Zagadou all scouted at centre back. Jack Grealish and Saul are also potential targets while Guardiola wants a left back and could move for Ben Chilwell. And in fact, the Daily Mail do add on top of this, saying Inter Milan and Argentine forward Lautaro Martinez and uh, Bayern Munich defender David Alaba, as well as Ferran Torres from Valencia, they're all into Manchester City now. And it's probably because their transfer ban, or uh, sorry, their, uh, their Chambers League ban was uplifted. So the financial fair play, they've proved they can kind of get away from that. Le Ten Sport are reporting that Paris Saint-Germain are ready to swoop for Roma midfielder Lorenzo Pellegrini. The 24-year-old has a 30 million euro release clause that expires and that expires at the end of this month. And the French side see him as an ideal addition, that's if they do offload either Julian Draxler or Ander Herrera. And in fact, PSG do feature quite a bit, and this next story comes from Tuto Sport, and it also ties into the previous story. They're saying Paris Saint-Germain could turn to Dominic Soboslai, that's to solve their midfield problems. Roma's Lorenzo Pellegrini has been targeted by the French champions, but that deal has apparently become stuck. So the Red Bull Salzburg man is seen as a good alternative. The Telegraph claimed that Ajax are hopeful of convincing goalkeeper Andre Onana to stay for at least another year. Chelsea have been heavily linked with the move for the Cameroon international, but Ajax's technical director Mark Overmars fancies his size chances because they want to get him a new contract in fact and it's probably a similar situation to Tagliafico. He said last year he'll stay for one more season at least and um, now he's probably free to go. Well not, not free but they'll get a good fee but they will let him leave. Barcelona want to send Samuel Umtiti out on loan next season, and it's according to Diario Sport. Three clubs in Italy are apparently interested, and they are Napoli, Lazio and Roma. Umtiti has fallen down the squad pecking order at Barca this season, but he does still have three years left on his current contract. And this would make a lot of sense for Napoli because if they sell Koulibaly to the likes of Man City, they've got to replace him. I know they're currently in talks with Lille over the move for Gabriel, but apparently that one's uh, got a bit of issues about it and another Premier League club have outbid them. And for Umtiti, he's got a lot of experience, a very good defender, uh, but again, the injury issues, they, they are a bit of a problem. A story I mentioned a couple days ago is about Luka Jovic and a move away from Real Madrid. And another update today from Calcio Mercato is that AC Milan they have made Jovic a top transfer target this summer. Because the Serbian forward has only played in 16 La Liga matches this season, scoring just two goals, the Spanish giants are willing to let him go. Madrid want around €40 million Euros for him, but they would consider a loan with the option to buy, and the Rossoneri are eager to bring him to the San Siro. Barcelona have offered Felipe Coutinho to Newcastle and Arsenal. That's in an ongoing bid to free up squad space and funds that will allow them to launch a raid on Inter for Lauturo Martinez, and that story comes from Goal.com. And it kind of ties in with a story from, I'm not going to lie, Richard Keyes, very unreliable. Um, but he has said that Newcastle's takeover by a Saudi Arabian group, it will be formalised on Friday. The deal is set to provide the St. James's Park Club with a formidable spending power, and they will then have the richest owners in world football. 
Real Madrid are ready to pay off the final two years of Gareth Bale's contract and that will allow him to become a free agent. This story is from ABC and they say the Welsh international has recently been pictured clowning around on the bench and that's doing little to help an already tarnished reputation in the Spanish capital. The Daily Mirror are saying that Chelsea are ready to trade goalkeeper Kepa that's for Atletico Madrid star man Jan Oblak. Frank Lampard's side will also have to stump up a transfer fee though for a man regarded by many as the best shot stopper in the game currently. And let's be real, if they manage to pull that off, it'd be one hell of an upgrade on what they've currently got. Old Black, again, one of the best goalkeepers in the world. And Kepa, he's just a very dodgy keeper. And the final story today comes from The Independent and also Miguel Delaney. They're saying Paris Saint-Germain have made Manchester United forward Marcus Rashford. They've made him a top transfer target for the next transfer window. They claim the Ligue 1 champions are considering a big money move for another versatile forward that's to slot in alongside Neymar and Kylian Mbappe. Now from a United standpoint, I'd be very surprised to see them let him go, but maybe if they can get a good amount of money for him, it definitely secures the signing of Jadon Sancho. But that guys is going to be it for this video, so if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. Yes, this episode will be down below in the description box and the current schedule every day at 8am UK time there'll be a new video in your sub box. And the comment section below, drop anything, say anything, I'm trying to respond to as many as I can. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.